Let it be the moment. Let the Lord bless you as you join. Yes, you will. I will testify just when I thought it was over. Oh, oh, you turned it for me. Sister, now let go down. The beauty of putting a smile on my face. Good to see you inside. Praise the Lord. Where the vibes is right. The music is nice and emotive. It's good. Sister Sarah Bradshaw. Greetings, blessings, and welcome as you join. Sister Claudette, how you doing? Sister Sherry, good afternoon. Just when I thought it was over, oh, 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 my beloved sister, have a great things to you as you join. Sister Hyacinth Richards, greetings, blessings, and welcome. I will testify. Oh, la, 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 la. Testify. I will testify. Sister Louise, good afternoon. Share the live link somewhere. Share the live link with somebody who thought we weren't coming. Let them know that Praise of Heaven is live. It's testimony to a brand new testimony. Come on, somebody type the word permanent, permanent in the chat. Permanent, my blessing, my blessing, my blessing. Somebody shall type be. the word permanent in the chat. Permanent, permanent, permanent blessing. My blessing, my blessing, my blessing shall be. Permanent, permanent, permanent blessing. Sister Joanne, oh, good afternoon. My blessing, my blessing, my blessing shall be. Permanent, permanent, permanent blessing. Good afternoon as you join. Auntie Cherry, good to see you. Somebody type the word permanent in the chat. Sister Patricia Jones. Yeah, yeah. Receive, receive. What is that? Receive, receive, double, double and double, double joy. Up up and beyond, lift your hands if it comes. New beginnings and new levels. New seasons, open levels. Yeah. Your appointed time has come. Now, now, yeah. now, look what the Lord has done. No more limit, no more sickness, no more delay. I believe in Deacon Espirit McLean, good afternoon. Auntie Lisa, good afternoon as you join. Auntie Rona, good afternoon. Measure, press down, shaking together and running over. Glory to God, we've come to give God praise, we've come to give him glory. On a day like today, does anybody have a Wednesday or a Tuesday <laughs> worship left? Glory to God. Does anybody have a praise left on Tuesday? Shout a praise right there in your space. Give God a worship right there in your space. Here on Inside Testimony Tuesday, I'm your girl, Aladdin. Here comes grace to us. Stay, we praise you, Lord. God. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we praise you. You're awesome in this place, Lord. And as we come in your presence, we lift up our hearts in praise because you're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. So we praise you. We praise you. Share the link, saints of God. Share this with me. We lift up holy hands. Hallelujah. Let the words of our mouth and the sound. 
Sister Helen, good afternoon as you join up inside your inside testimony Tuesday. We choose to declare that despite our situations, despite our circumstances, glory to God. God is still great and greatly to be praised. Can I tell somebody, 
that even in death, there is still life. Glory to God. Even in death, there is life. And there is life for a look at the crucified one here on today. Regardless of what we are facing on a day like today. Regardless of the issues, the circumstances, the situations that come to weigh a stone, bombard us, perplex and distress us. There is still a God who is touched with the feelings of our infirmity. And we can call upon him. We can still look unto him who is the author and the perfecter of our faith. As the Antichrist is saying, thank you, Jesus. If you're grateful for the gift of life, people of God. If you're grateful for the gift of life, Sister Sonia Phillips, just type a thank you, Jesus, in the chat. If you're happy that you're alive today, just type a thank you, Jesus, in the chat. Because God is an awesome wonder. God is full of wonders and we just big him up on a day like today. I'm very emotional, people of God. But we still give God praise. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it's prayer time. Somebody, it is prayer time. And we touch and agree in prayer, Sister Beverly Lewis. So God, we touch and agree in prayer. I see y'all saying, thank you, Jesus. We are saying, thank you, Jesus. Sister Michelle Lothia, good afternoon as you join. Our God, we are just giving God thanks for life. Is anybody with me up inside here? Glory to God. You don't even know the warfare. You don't even know the warfare that you would have overcome last night, a couple hours ago, a couple minutes ago. The real war, mighty God of Daniel, is on. Christian soldiers, the war is on. The warfare is real. And so we just want to big up God. And a day like today, who continues to fight our many battles and for still coming out victorious, Sister Angela Abraham, my beloved minister, Carlene Miller Kennedy. Welcome as you join. Let us pray. Somebody, Sister Sashana Cooper. Welcome as you join. Sister Jan Jan. Glory to God. Welcome as you join. Thank you, Jesus. My beloved spiritual daughter, Sister Trish, welcome as you join. People of God, let us pray. Father, oh God, we honor and we praise your name today, God. Because you are awesome. And what you do, mighty God, is well done. Jesus, there is none like you. There is none like unto you. Nothing and no one compares with you, Jesus, you have brought us into Tuesday. You never had to do it, God, but you did. You're the one who is in control of our lives. You are the real world boss. And God, oh God, you continue to write our life stories. Jesus, you know every comma, every full stop, every dash, every exclamation mark, every colon and semicolon, mighty God of Daniel. You know everything concerning us, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so we are saying thank you for the blessing of God that you have bestowed upon us here on today. Thank you for the grace, God, that you have bestowed upon us today, God, to be counted among those who are living. Jesus Christ, it's a privilege. It's a big blessing just to be breathing. And so, God, forgive us, God, for the many times that we would have proved ungrateful and thankful, mighty God, as though you have not done anything for us. We just want to say thank you, God, for the mere fact that even if we don't have money in our pockets, food on our tables, Lord God, we are not strung up in some hospital room, laying on a hospital bed with tubes all over us, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Jesus Christ and a doctor trying to bring us back. Oh, God, but we are up and about and mighty God. I choose the to declare, God, that Aldean is up and about to give the devil hell on a Tuesday afternoon. Mighty God of Daniel, we just want to thank you that you are who you are 
and we want to thank you, mighty God, that we are what we are through your grace. On a Tuesday afternoon, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, even as we have come undeserving, oh God, yet still we are blessed. Jesus, Jesus, how we trust you, how we prove you over and over. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, Oh, for grace on a day like today. Mighty God, to trust you more. Mighty God, your people are crying out. Mighty God of Daniel, from the east, west, north, and south. Because they are bombarded with issues. Circumstances, mighty God. Situations, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That are causing many of us, Lord God Almighty, to wonder where is our God. Oh God, we have been praying. Oh God Almighty, seemingly no answers. Mighty God of Daniel, we have been walking in the plain path, mighty God. But there is no answers. God, we can't see a comeback from our setback. But God, we choose to believe that you are still God. And so we place you high above all else you're on today. High above the situations that weigh us down. High above the situations that pull up our emotions on a day like today. Jesus, Jesus, we call you because you tell us in your word if we call you, you will answer and show us great and mighty things. Mighty God of Daniel, I call you on behalf, mighty God of Minister Carol Campbell, what you're on today. Lord God Almighty, you know what she's going through here on today, God. You know the situation that stands before her. But God Almighty, you say you comfort us so that we can comfort others because you are the source of all comfort. And so God Almighty, I speak comfort to Minister Carol Campbell at this time, God. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 glory to your name, God, mighty God, we thank you, Lord, that when the good and the bad comes together, Oh, God, the mix brings about good. Glory to God. Because your word tells us that all things work together for good. To those who love your mighty God. And are called according to your purpose. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What can mortal man do to us? Glory to God. Lord God, we choose to declare your own today. That even in the midst of death, Lord God Almighty. We we will not be shaken. We will not be moved. Glory to God. I'm not crying because I am weak, mighty God. Oh, God Almighty, I'm crying, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because you are real. And you cried when Lazarus died. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you poured forth your emotions because you were bonded and connected to your friend Lazarus, mighty God of Daniel. Oh, God, but I I don't weep as so though I have no hope because God Almighty, I know that you, Jesus Christ, you are our living hope. And so God will lift you up. Oh God, far above principalities and powers on a day like today. The arrows have been fired. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, the arrows have been fired. Glory to God. But I thank you, God, that we can lift up the shield of faith here on today to ward off the fiery darts of the enemy. We blood block every satanic plan. Oh, God, every diabolical decision that has been made, Lord God, concerning your people, we shut them down. We shut down every satanic operation at the salad hour. Lord God, I bind the spirit of depression here on today. Glory to God. I bind the spirit of setback and delay. Glory to God. I bind up 
believe by your damn spirit. Oh God, let there be a strangling. Let him suffocate. Mighty God of Daniel. And we speak life over your people. Glory to God. Many of us we are wavering in our faith, Lord God. Not that Lord Jesus, we didn't trust you yesterday. But sometimes, glory to God, the pathway gets so rough. Rubble Lord God in our way. And we seemingly can't get over. We can't cross the waters. Mighty God of Daniel. But I hear you saying, Jesus, you will give up what it takes. Glory to God. To scale over walls and run through troops. So right now, God, I thank you for that anointing. Glory to God to go through our go-throughs. And we hold you accountable to your words, God. That when we go through the fire, God, we will not be burned. When we go through the waters, God, they won't drown us. God, God. When we go into our wilderness, God, you will make a pathway. And so we thank you, God, for being the good God that you are. God, we still love you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> Mighty God of Daniel, help somebody today, God, who is thinking of giving up, God, thinking of giving up, mighty God, manifest yourself in a tangible way for such a one today, God. Oh, God, we are there's despair, God, I replace it with hope here and today. Glory to God. We are there is fear, Lord Jesus. We trade it for faith in you, mighty God. We take off the garment of heaviness, God. We replace it with a robe of praise. And so we are saying we praise you, mighty God. Despite of, in spite, Lord God, regardless of the situations we face, we praise you on a day like today. Provide for somebody, God, who spent out their last dollar this afternoon. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody who the landlord been knocking on the door. Somebody mighty God. Oh, Jesus who's been threatened because of debt collectors. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, seemingly people saying, God, we can't manage. We can't manage mighty God of Daniel. This bigger than we. Jesus Christ, God Almighty, the problem seemingly look bigger than us, but we declare you around today that you are bigger than them. Fight all our battles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We put you in front of, of all our melodies, God, because you're all that matters. Provide a job for somebody who is seeking a job, mighty God. Provide for somebody, God, in every department of their life. We're calling for your kingdom to come and to manifest itself in every department of our lives. Let there be a shifting, oh, Jesus Christ. And even as I weep, Glory to God, somebody else is weeping for something else. But glory to God, I thank you, God, oh God, for angelic assistance. That angels battle up our tears. Glory to God. On Christ, the solid rock, we stand on a Tuesday afternoon. And we choose to declare that all on the ground is sinking sand. So big up yourself, God. Big up yourself, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are still in control. God, election, no run and you lose your seat. You are still in control, mighty God. So we're saying, take hold of a shield and buckle and fight against those who fight against us, Lord Jesus, in every way, shape, or form. We draw the bloodline of Jesus Christ and declare that Satan can't cross it concerning us. Oh, God, reinforce the very hedge of protection round about your people and speak into somebody's mind on a day like today. Glory to God and release the peace that transcends all human understanding to reign in their mortal being. Mighty God, I place Evangelist Carol Tucker White into your hands. Even as she gets ready to share part two of her testimony. God, you're the God of yesterday, today, and you'll still be God tomorrow. Regardless of what, Lord God, you'll still be God. So we are saying, Jesus, run things because God, we can't give you counsel. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cannot counsel you and tell you how to do and what to do, where and when to do, mighty God. But I declare here on today that your counsel still stands over Aldine's life. Your counsel still stands over the shifter's life. Your counsel still stands over the testifier's life, mighty God. So big up yourself. Have your own sweet divine way up inside 
the mighty God. Cause somebody's faith to stretch, to increase. Because of the testimony that will be shared here on today, God Almighty. Take all the glory. We just say take all the praise. We just want to say thank you in advance for a Tuesday afternoon blessing. And the gates of him shall not triumph. In Jesus' mighty name, the gates of hell shall not prevail. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord of mercy. We made it to Tuesday. People of God, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing praises to our King. Oh, for a thousand hands to raise in honor to our King Sister Rosetta. Oh, God. I say my heart, people of God, forgive me, but Lord of mercy, we are humans. And so, you know, situations will happen and we become emotional. But we have to understand that Jesus cares. Jesus cares, Sister Beverly. Jesus cares, Auntie Carol. Jesus cares, Sister John John. Sister Lenford, Sister McCain, Jesus cares, Auntie Mommy. Doesn't matter what. Don't give up on God. I urge you today, people of God. Don't give up. I keep asking God, why? 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 And we ask the question, why God? You know, so many people out there, why you never take one of them or, you know, take one of them and behave themselves? Glory to God. But I hear the scriptures come back to say many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord God, he delivered them out of them all. Not some. Not some. So no matter what it look like, God is able to deliver. Oh, God from the fire, Sister Stephen Christ. Godly lyrics, good afternoon. As you join Sister Vanny Llewellyn, God is able. Sister Diana Davis, Sister Christine Carby, divine revelation. God is able to deliver. From the fire. And though we go through the fire. We're not going through alone. Glory to God. Oh God. I urge you people of God to pray. Minister Carol Campbell. What strength. Even as she goes through a time of bereavement. Here on a day like today. I say God is still in control. God is still in control. And whatever he does. Is well done. Your inside testimony to the sister Blossom Graham. Your inside testimony Tuesday, where we've come with stories to tell. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. It's eight minutes to two, but don't watch the time. God is still in control of time and eternity. And so we come to big him up. People of God. Oh, Jesus. Sister Jennifer Rampasar, good afternoon. As you join, only you, Jesus. Come on, somebody type that in the chat. Only you. Jesus, Sister Kisha Osborne, only you can do what no power, no other power, what no other power can do, God. Only you can do. Come on, somebody type in the chat, only you, Jesus. Somebody type in the chat, only you, only Jesus. You can do what no That's right, Sister Louise, do. only you, Jesus. Only you can say what no man That's can right, say. Sister Jan Jan, only you. Only, only you, you Jesus, the giver of life and the forgiver of sins. Only, only you, Jesus. Only you. Oh God. Only you can say what no man can say. Hey. hey. Only you, God. Only you. Hey. Only you, Jesus. Only, you can Only Jesus, Sister Sherry. Can change any situation at all. Daddy, only you are, baby. 
is um only you can do what God the Father can do, Jesus. Share this live link. Somebody tell somebody to tell somebody that praise of them is live. On a Tuesday, we've come with stories to tell. Just like you are the streets of Galilee. He's doing the very same today. Just like you are what a God. What a God. Can I tell you about the power of the God that we serve? Just like he raised the dead, he healed the sick waters of Galilee. He's doing the same today. Just like he said, Lazarus, come. He's doing the very same today. You are doing the same today. Oh God, my promoter. Jesus, my Miss Outed, opening every door fighting all my battles, healing the broken hearted. You are doing the same, mighty God, healing the broken hearted, fighting all my battles. He's doing the very same today. Only you, Jesus, only you can do what no other power can do. Glory to God. We lift him up on a day like today. We big him up. We big him up. Come on, somebody. We big him up regardless of. We still choose to big up God. Oh, God, your inside testimony Tuesday. I'm your girl, Aldine. We're saying welcome to all those who are tuning in for the very first time on a day like today. Welcome. God has been good. I said God never had to keep us, you know. He never had to keep us, and many of us were behaving as though we are all that on a bag of chips. And like, you know, God not can jump in our cool head because he know we flavor. Come on, no? come on, somebody. That's how we behave. And many of us, like, God can jump in our cool head because God no know we flavor. But we are saying that only He can do, undo, and redo the things that He has done. Glory to God. As the minister Carol is going through a time of loss. People of God. And we are saying, Lord Jesus, big up yourself. Even in that circumstance. Even in that situation. Big up yourself. Mighty God. Father. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank God. We just want to thank God that he has blessed us. With a testifier. In the person of evangelist Carol Tucker White. We saw her last week. And she's up inside here again. Ah, Jesus Christ. I said back to back. You know, like oh God good Sunday to Sunday. Back to back. This is how she's been coming back to back. She came on Monday, then she came on Tuesday, and she's back up inside here this week, Tuesday. And so we just want to give God thanks for her. She needs no introduction. Last week, we heard, glory to God, how the Lord transformed her. Oh God, like a Saul to Paul, she was Rastafarian. And so the Lord would have, she would have been converted, sweetly baptized in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and is on her way to heaven, has been experiencing God in miraculous ways, has, has been proving God and the power that lies in prayer. Mighty God of Daniel, you know how it is with Rastafarians. Instead of saying Jesus, they say, Ja. Rastafari, but this woman, Lord Jesus Christ, she met Jesus Christ like Saul, met the Lord Jesus on the road to Damascus, and her life was rearranged. And she's up inside here today to tell us more of what the Lord has done for her, how she has proven him in a transformed life, how she has proven God in her transformed state from Rastafarianism. Our God, to full-blown Christianism, Christianity, glory to God, sweetly saved, baptized in Jesus' name, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Woman of God, I'm going to invite you at this hallowed hour just to open your microphone. Talk to us, our God, in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. I want to greet the presence of God in my midst. And I want to greet, praise God, Minister Aldane, and I want to greet all God's wonderful people out there. To God be the glory. 
Praise God. And for those who were not here last week to hear that God delivered me from breast cancer, glory to God. He delivered me from a gist cancer in my stomach, glory to God. God is a good God. And not only that, he delivered me from a nervous breakdown and depression. Glory to God. In that scenario, praise God. My mother is a psychiatric nurse, was at the Bellevue Hospital. And that's where she brought me to see the psychiatrist. Glory to God. And I was a bit nervous being at the Bellevue Hospital. And we in Jamaica know what Bellevue is all about. Glory to God. But God heals anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Glory to God. When the doctor saw me at the Bellevue Hospital, glory to God. Hallelujah. And he listened to my story. Praise God. He said, are you a Christian? And I said, yes. Glory to God. And he gave me a scripture verse and he wrote a prescription. Glory to God. And in that scripture verse, it was first, second Timothy one verse seven. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, glory to God. And then he gave me the prescription. My mother bought the medication. And every day, glory to God, as long as I should have taken those, those medications, I took the word in prayer, glory to God. I went into prayer and I hold on to that word. God has not given me the spirit of fear, glory to God, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Glory to God. I remember I couldn't read my Bible. Glory to God. I had to sleep every time, every five minutes. I have to go back to lay down. Praise God. My nerves. Glory to God. But after that, glory to God. After a couple of days, glory to God, I was able to apply to college. Glory to God. And did a course. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Three-year course. And I never failed a subject, glory to God. God carried me through and he kept me, glory to God. God is a provider, a great deliverer. Whatever the situation is that you might face, he's a reliable God. He can be relied upon, glory to God. Let me just share something else with you about this great God who answers by fire, this powerful God. You know, I remember when my daughter was sick as a baby girl, about two years old, Glory to God. I took her to the children's hospital and I did not get instructions right. I took her home back. Praise God. And she was getting worse on me. And I held her in my hands. Glory to God. And began to pray. Glory to God. And while I was praying loudly, a lady walked into my premises. Glory to God. And began to pray. And she held that cream soda bottle in her hand and she break it. And she splashed it around. Glory to God. And God would have me under the anointing to trample. Glory to God. That battle. And not even one piece. I got a cut. I didn't get a cut at all. Because of the power of Almighty God. And my daughter was delivered. And that same lady, she thought she was doing good. She got saved shortly after at the church I attend. So God worked all things together for his good. Glory to God. He's a powerful God. He's an all-seeing, all-knowing God. He's omnipotent, omnipresent, and he's trustworthy. Glory to God. And God is an able God. Glory S to God. Evangelist. Yes. So evangelist, you're saying that you're saying that this woman came with her cream soda. Yes. And a poker <laughs> spirit. She come with a poker spirit. Yes. Glory to broke, God. Broke cream soda mm. in your house. Yes. <laughs> Splash it all over. Glory to God. And, and you said dancing. and you said that you trample up on the splinters. Yes, barefoot, barefoot. Glory to God. Be glory sure. to God. Be and you don't get no cut. And not even one cut to God be yes, the sir. glory. Hallelujah. Yes, glory, glory to, to God. God. Look at God. God is a powerful God. Powerful yes, God. God. Pray, glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, when I got saved from being a Rastafarian, because as a Rasta, I believe not to work for Babylon. Glory to God. So I, was, I used to do some knitting and stuff like that. And, you know, I was praying one Wednesday night, praise God, at Pentab Church, Pentecostal Tabernacle, glory to God. And I was asking God to give me some ambition because I didn't have any ambition, glory to God. <laughs> I asked God to just, I said, Lord, 
you know, for my leave school, I, I don't do anything progressive. I know you have saved me. Fix me, Jesus. Glory to God. And that same night, glory to God, Sister Valerie Stewart, the pastor's wife, came over to me and she asked me what school I went to. I told her how many subjects I had. I told her, glory to God. And she decided right there, she wrote a check for me to go to school. Praise God. There was a school on the premises. Praise uh -huh. God to do the subject that I needed. Glory to God. And as a result, glory to God. I passed that subject. And at the first job I got that time, I went to a nursing school. Glory to God. Praise God. And I did that course in nursing. And I worked at the university hospital for five years. Praise God as a practical nurse. Glory to God. And it didn't stop there. Glory to God. I prayed again. And I said, God, I want something more. I want something more. I didn't like the idea of, of working as a nurse because it, took, it was taking up a lot of my time from church. Praise God. You have to be on certain shifts. And I prayed again and said, God, give me something that I can have the weekend off. Where I can spend time in your presence. Glory to God. And somebody saw me in a bus. She was in a bus. And she shouted and said, Carol, Michael is applying for guidance counsel. Look in the gleaner. Glory to God. And I looked in the gleaner and I saw the advertisement. And I went over there and I applied for that position. And I got through. I did the interview and I got through. Because of the power of prayer. Glory to God. And I spent three years in college. Praise God. And I was successful. And I began working. Praise God. I didn't get any work yet. Praise uh -huh. God. After, the, after I did my course, I began praying again. Glory to God. I went into the prayer room and I said, God, now I have finished this course. Bless me with a job. Glory to God. And while praying, I, I got up after prayer and went next door to the church to, to get some refreshment. And somebody came and called me and said, Carol, here's a lady just by church looking for you. I said, she walk or she drive. They said, they're not even sure. And I run out the road. I run up the road and see a lady and stop her and say, look here, you're looking for me? I am Carol Tucker. Glory to God. And she said, yeah, she said, she's a guidance counselor. And she heard about me looking for a job. And she come to take, take me to the principal. Praise God. She followed me home and got ready. And I went to see the principal. And he said to me, I don't need anybody to fill her position. But I met a, a principal this morning who told me that she need a guidance counselor. And he gave me direction and I went there. Glory to God. And I work in that capacity in that school as the first guidance counselor for 20 years to God be the glory. glory. Praise God. God kept me through all the challenges that were there. Glory to God. I love the Lord. He's a provider. He's a way maker. And I want to say to somebody who don't know the way, you don't need to know the way. Put mm -hmm. trust in Jesus. Put your yes, trust sir. in Almighty God. And be bold in your prayer. Be fearless. Glory to God. Because faith and works go together. And when you pray, praise God. Step out after what you want. Step out. Launch out after what you require. Because God is a faithful God. God is a just God. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I have another testimony to share with you before I leave today. Glory to God. You know, brethren, while praying, praise God, the Lord spoke to me and said to me when I got saved, find the lady who tarry with you. Glory to God. The lady who prayed me through to the Holy Ghost. You know, and I asked around, I asked around, praise God. And the lady told me that the Lord told her to find me. Glory to God. And when we found each other, Brethren, we decided to go into the hospital to minister to the sick. And we went to Jubilee Hospital. Glory to God. You know, one particular evening I went there, praise God. And there was this lady all over in tubes. But the Spirit of the Lord would have me to go over her to pray. Glory to God. And we prayed for that lady and we left the hospital. You know, and I went back there and the nurses told us that we didn't know that doctor gave her until 7 o'clock to live. Glory to God. And the nurse said, after we prayed, the lady stood up, stand up on her feet and pass out that dead baby. Yes, Glory sir. to God. And the, the nurses, we didn't have hand to pray for the sick anymore. They would just send us all over the wards to pray for people. Praise God. And you know, one day I was at church, feeling so despondent, feeling like I want to give up. And I was going to the door and I tell myself, I'm coming through this door for the last time. And while going to the door, somebody grabbed me. And hugged me and began to cry. Praise God. And I was wondering, who is this? Who is this? And the lady said to me, you are the lady who prayed for me at the hospital. I was the one who doctor gave over to die. 
Praise God. But you came, and as a result, I asked the nurse, what church you attend? And the nurse told us, glory to God. And I came here three months ago and got baptized. My church uh -huh. is a very good church. Glory to God. She said she baptized three months ago, looking for us and can't find us. Praise God. You know, and I began to weep because at that day I was so down. And from that day until today, I have that thought of backsliding, never come back to me again. Praise uh -huh. God. And let me tell you something about this lady. She's a monument in my life. Glory to God. Another day, she's, she's at church. Another day I was at home and the Holy Spirit said to me, go by University Hospital. And I just got up, because that's all I was, very obedient to the Spirit. And I got ready, and I got up to the hospital. And I walked down the passage. I looked in Ward 3. I didn't get any leading to go in there. When I reached Ward 7, glory to God, I saw somebody calling me. When I looked, it was the same lady beckoning to me to come. And she was crying. And I said, what happened? Why are you here? She said she was admitted because all the valves around her heart has gone. And the doctor said she have not much long to live. And she should get in touch with her church so they can minister spirituality to her. Glory to God. And you know, brethren, I, I reminded her of what happened back then in Jubilee. Glory to God. And you know, that lady re recovered so much that she ended up backslide. She ended up back working at two jobs. But guess what? Sickness took her again. Glory to God. And I, I was working at the hospital then, and she started coming to clinic. She lives now in Manchester, Kabla, Manchester. You know, and she would come and visit the hospital. One night I went to church, and I was told that she died. I said, oh, my God, that's sad. But I said, I have to go to that funeral. I don't know where Kabla, Manchester is, but I will ask and find my way. And brethren, I took three vehicles to go there. And I reached Kabla. When I reached the funeral, I saw my name on the funeral program. Glory to God. She wrote, nobody there know me. She wrote my name to write, to read her eulogy. Glory to God. I had to grab a pen and paper and get information immediately. Praise God. And I was able to stood up and read that eulogy. I said, to God be the glory. To Woman God of God. Be the glory. Yes. Glory you, to you, God. You're saying that the, the, before the sister died, the sister wrote her funeral program. Yes, she wrote her program and including my name in it. And you don't know. I never you know never know. That. I never know that. I never know. I've never been to Kabla. I, I, I didn't have no I don't even remember if there was a phone to call her. I didn't have the number or nothing like that. She, I would just see her when she comes to clinic. It was church I went and I heard that she died. And I said, I have to find my way to that place. Glory to God. And I took three vehicles and I reached Kabla, Manchester. Nobody there knew me. And they were wondering, who is this Carol Tucker to read the eulogy? Glory to God. And I said, I am Carol Tucker. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It was a blessing. Tremendous blessing. And that speaks volume in my life today. That God is a guide. Is a guide. Is a guide. He knows how to lead us. Glory to God. And that woman has been in my life for a purpose. When I feel like I can't go on, she encourages the thought of her alone, encourages me that, yes, I can go on. Praise God. She's a monument in my life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To God be the glory. I just want to love the Lord. I just want to love the Lord. Here's another situation again I have to share with you. Glory to God. I bought a car. On a Valentine's Day, glory to God. You know, I got that car blessed and I drove that car to church, glory to God. Park it up at church, glory to God. Virgin, when I was sitting at the back of the car all alone, a sister was there and she left. There comes this man with a gun. I said, give me the keys, glory to God. And I grabbed onto the gun and said, the blood of Jesus is against you. And he yes, grabbed it, pulled it out of my hand, praise God. And I said, okay, you can have the keys, but can I have my bag? And he did not give me my back. Glory to God. He just took the car and he drove. I watched it drive off. Glory to God. Praise God. And I went in touch with Minister Rowe. Glory to God from Bethel United Church. And that man said to me, tell God what you want, Sister Carol. Tell God what you want. Glory mm. to God. And I wrote on paper and he said, write it up. Seven papers. I would like my vehicle and its content in seven days. Return my vehicle and its content in seven days. Glory to God. God knows how to answer prayer. I did not get back the vehicle, but on the seventh day, glory to God, God allowed my daughter to get a letter through the mail, come to the gate. 
praise God, and she brought it to my workplace. But she's so smart. She took it to the police station first. Praise yes. God. I see envelope. And when she took it to me, she said, the police said, don't open it. And she said, mommy, feel this, what it feels like. Because my passport, driver's license, and everything was in the car. Go yes. To God. And God allowed those gunmen. When I took it to the police station and they opened it, praise God, 17 items of importance was in that envelope for me. Glory to God, including my passport. Oh, my God. To God be the glory. God knows how to de deliver. God knows how to reward us. God looks at our hearts and he answers prayer. He's a powerful God that answers prayer. Glory to God. And by our faith, if we pray and we believe, God will come true for us. Hallelujah. So, 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 Sister Carol, I have a question for you there. Yes. Because if, if, if you say you are sitting in the car and a gunman yes. came up to you, yes. is it gunman or gunmen? It, they were strategically placed because after that, somebody said they saw one round this corner and one round, but it was one who approached me. So one gunman approached you, pointed yes. the gun at you, and you pleaded yes. the blood of Jesus. And held what? on to the gun. You hold on to the gun? Yes. And he's pulling through my hand. For days, I could feel him, feel the sensation of it being pulled through my hand. Glory to God. You never Praise grab God. a good dead man. <laughs> and he, 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 he hold it back at me again. And I said, okay. Like I surrendered. And I said, just I like my that. Mom? Just yes. like that, you just take it easy. You're not going to fight back. I'm going to fight him. He just said, okay. And But I asked for my bag because my bag contained my Bible, you know, a book I was trying to write about my life. All of that, and it just went. But praise God, I don't know. They brought back, they sent it through the mail, my yes. important documents. And I, I, I felt blessed and privileged to know that I asked God for letting things return in seven days. And God showed up in that seven-day situation. I, I, I'm I, just blessed. So when I walk, I walk with pride and dignity. Praise God. Like Esther, I found favor with God. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Me, me, so, 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 oh my God, you know, yeah, I, I like we go back into your Rastafarian days, you know. So, so when you used to pray back in the day as a Rasta, as a Rastafarian, I used to pray back in the day. You used to see things happen for you. <laughs> Talk no, true. Talk no, true. Listen, listen I, as a Rasta, I can remember one prayer. Mm -hmm. I was a girl who loves education, loves school. Love school. And because of being a Rasta, my parents threw me out. They threw me clothes. They threw me books. I couldn't go to school as I used to. You know, but I would go by the library at Excelsior every day. And I would ask my friends, what you get today? And they would tell me that they would get this or they get that. And I would try to, I tried to keep up with all, at least three subjects. I keep up, I tried to keep up with history, Spanish, and literature. I couldn't mm -hmm. manage the sciences to keep up. I couldn't manage maths and and, and chemistry and physics, I couldn't manage those. But I tried to keep up with at least those subjects. Spanish, literature, history, and English. I tried to keep up as much as I could. You know, and I was always contemplating. I can't remember going down on my knees to pray like that, like I would know. But I would say, Ja, Rastafari. Yes, sir. You know, what are you saying? Say? <laughs> what are you used to say? <laughs> <laughs> say what are you used to say? say? What you have to say? <laughs> ja Rastafari. Yes, sir. Uh, ja Rastafari. So, so, yes. so, well, I don't know. There was never a church. You, you did a real Rasta. You did a no, I used to go to, I was a member of the 12 tribes. 12 right? tribes? So I would go, so I would go to meeting. Papi Papa Bobo Hill. Yes, I would know. Papa Bobo Hill. Go. Go to, Bobo Hill. I would go to, um when there are meetings, there are meetings several places like down in August Town. I would go to August Town a lot for meetings and we would sing a lot of songs and would hey. chant, you know, I would jump Naya Bingy and That's all of right. that. <laughs> I you not see nothing, but, I you not see nothing happen for Alias, Alias no, job. In the in the in the time that to show you that God loves us from before the foundation of the world. When we when God called us in call us from before we turn Rasta. Because one day I was coming from the library and my principal just called me because he knew of my story. And he called me and I said, Lord, I'm going to run me off the compound now because started to lock, wearing red, green and gold and everything. And, you know, I said, what is this now? And he said to me, come here, get some uniform and report to school September morning. 
And I said, Ja! <laughs> because I felt so blessed and privileged yes, to know the opportunity. Because my parents, because in my graduation, there wasn't anybody at my graduation, you know, no parents never did it. It's just yeah. my friend, you know, because the people just, they don't want to support me like that. But I managed to graduate from my school. And it was God. It was Jesus Christ. And I didn't know. I didn't know. Mm. And I can remember one time again, I prayed. After I trimmed the locks, I prayed. And I said, God, wherever you are, help me. Whether you are Selassie or you are Jesus, help me. I want to have this baby. Glory to God. And after praying, I started feeling pain. And, and, and I went to the hospital and had my baby. So mm. God, God, look beyond our faults and he see your needs. And he knows what's good for us. And he, he, he hears sinners prior. He hears people prior, you know. He knows our heart. Because we are spiritual beings as well, you know. We are not just flesh. We are spirit. Yeah. Praise God. And God breathes into us. And he becomes a living soul. So, so there's something from God that is in, in each of us. Yes. Praise God. But the enemy would want to erase that. Praise God. But we are spiritual beings. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Yeah, man. So, so you say pray, so you say prayer work. Pray prayer work. When, when you prayer pray work. to the true, when you pray to the true and living God. Pray God. Prayer work. When your heart is sincere. Yeah. When your heart, because God look at the heart, you know. He looks at the heart. Sometimes you we're not sure what is it that we want. Or who we never don't get to know God yet. Because God knew Abraham's heart. He knew mm. that Abraham was that candidate. That he could rely upon. He yes. knows Moses' heart. You see. Even when Moses killed the man in the Egyptian. God knew his heart. You see. So God <laughs> knew my heart. And then, then I, I, I grew up a particular way. Where I have this fear of God. I know that there is a God. I couldn't put my hand on it. But I know that God is out there somewhere. Praise God. I would look in the atmosphere and in nature. And I would see God. Yes. So you can imagine the joy that comes over me now, knowing the true and living God. I don't need to search anymore. I have Hallelujah found him. Glory mm -hmm. to God. My soul is at rest. My soul is at peace now. Glory mm -hmm. to God. In spite of my circumstances. Because there must be circumstances. Because Jesus has been true for us. But I am now at peace. Knowing that I have a relationship with the true and living God. And mm -hmm. I want to recommend Jesus to somebody. Yes. Somebody who is troubled. Somebody who is depressed like I was. Somebody who wants to make a good decision. Somebody who needs ambition. Oh, glory to God. Somebody who needs a relationship with this God. Can come to know him. He's just a prayer away. A prayer away. Glory it's to God. Hallelujah. I thank God. Glory to God. Say, Evangelist, uh, yes. all I am here, all I'm here and staring at you. Miss, I, 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 I am here trying to picture you upon the 12 tribe choir there, you know. <laughs> you know I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't sing like that. <laughs> Miss, say, any, anything, anything then do cross there. Mr. Evangelist, I'm day. All I'm here staring at you. I am here staring <laughs> at you, you know, and the 12th tribe chanting choir. Glory to God. <laughs> and the transformation that has been wrought in your yeah. life. Oh, God, that yeah. you would have come out of that to come into this. To Glory say, Lord, to you find the truth. You find yeah. Jesus. Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And oh, you realize, say, your name, all the night you being the way when I chant, your name, I live no life till you find Jesus. I like me, I tell you. Oh, glory to God. But it was a shame, you know. You know, I, I look back into my life and I beg God to forgive me every day. I said, Lord, please, you wink at my ignorance, you know. Because mm -hmm. it was, I, I thought I was right, but I was sincerely wrong. Sincerely wrong. And I used to trouble, I remember seeing Christians going by the same hospital ministry, you know. And I said, fire burn for them and all of that. You know, I said, God, forgive me. You know, I said you, things about Christians and it, 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 it was wrong. You see, you see, you see, Christians, I go at the hospital, I go pray for people. And you say, fire upon them. Yes. Yes, sir. I said, you know, yeah. they, you know they, they, they just get the wrong teachings, you know. I thought it was the wrong teachings again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God evangelist, I tell you, boy, our story, our stories to the glory of Almighty God. Look what the Lord oh, has done. God, Look what please. the Lord has done. Eh? Look what the Lord has done. So you say, you said, I did out a road, and you know, I, I, I make trouble 
you know, in terms of you see God's people go about, uh, God go on the king's business and you are gunfire for them and things like this. Glory to God, today you are up inside here. Mm. Oh God, I try. Praise God, praise God. Transform soul. Glory to God. The Bible yes. says that if any man be in Christ, he He's is a new, a new creature. creature. All, mm -hmm. all things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. I hear you saying that you, know, you keep on asking God for forgiveness. So even now you tell God to forgive you for what you used to do. So no, you, man, the so you know, believe man. Oh. Me comfortable now. Me know me, me got that forgiveness long time. The blood has oh. washed me. You remember the, remember the, the gentleman who told me that my God is going to lick it down from the carpet of my church, Pastor Spencer. And when yes. I went to that church, God really licked me down from the carpet for two. And when I get up with him first, me see. So yeah. me get my deliverance right there, so. Me get me cleansing right there, so. Glory to God. Me get me newness of life. Me are walking a new, 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 new life. Right from right there, so. Glory yes, to sir. God. Hallelujah. Mighty God of Daniel. <laughs> Woman of God, hurry up and start the book there. Glory in the name of Jesus. Because yes, guess what? Many times we blame ourselves and we look back in our lives and we say, Lord, Mr. sorry, say, we did do this. And if I could do it all over again, you know, but I, tr I truly believe that, like I always pray and say, I say, God, you are the one that's writing our life story. And truly, I believe that everything that happens to us in life you know, if the Lord wanted it to go a different way, then it would have occurred so. But Praise the Lord God. would have allowed you to go through what you went through in Praise order to God. share your testimony because you have to know where you're coming from. Hallelujah. Oh God, to appreciate where you're going. Oh God. Glory oh God. to God. And even greater appreciate where you are today. So when Praise you look God. back over your life Praise and God. think things over, Oh, yes, that, that the Holy Ghost brings back things to your remembrance. Yes, you know, you God. look back over your life and sharing with others. A person can say, oh, mighty God. Then when me I got you or when me I got you, no. You know, even though, you know, I wasn't a Rasta. But to my, listen to me now. So my, we are Rasta and we are, you know. <laughs> say talk to you. Say talk to you, yeah. woman again. Holy power. A Rasta and we are told it look we now wear the locks. But we are Glory Rasta, and we are I'm not because... only Rasta, no. Many of us, praise God, we are we are idol worshippers. Now that me, you know, you might not worship Rasta, Silasi, but you worship something else. Something you know. you God, but you can't go to church because you have to tend to this. Are you God? You can't pray because you have to tend to this. Are you God? Can you put it above the things of God? You put it above God, so that's your God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, uh, that man, at least my yes. one was obvious. Slash, was obviously my God. But what mm -hmm. is your God? What yes, is sir. it that you can do? Bandage, a state. <laughs> Why you can't serve God? You have a uh, God. Uh, God. Oh, me, 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 God. Me can't stop, me can't stop smile, evangelist. Me, say, me can't stop smile. Me, 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 they, me, they, I hear you in my ears. It's like me a picture. In a, me, listen, you have to understand Aldine. Aldine yes, has sir. a very pictorial mind, you know. My mind yes. very colorful. So you there to me, I think about you and uh, there I say Rasta. What you say? Silasia. Silasia. Carol, I call you. <laughs> ja, you're merciful. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Uh, mighty God of that, woman of God. We just want to give God thanks for what he has done in your life. For bringing yes. you out, you know, taking yes. you out of the mire. Glory to yeah. God, you were deep, deep down and the Lord reached down. He came down to your level when you couldn't Praise get up God. to his. Glory Praise to God. And so we just want to bless God for you here and today. You have experienced God in so many ways. You have experienced him through your faith to be a healer, a provider, a sustainer. Glory to yeah. God. And yeah. I am sure you would have experienced God to be the great I am that I am. Anything that yeah. you want yeah. God to be, he is. Woman Amen. Amen. And so Amen. we bless God for you up inside here. Glory to God. At 29 minutes past the hour of two, Canada time. 29 minutes past the hour of one, Jamaica time. I'm going to invite you to pray. I see Sister Sherry place in the chat. I, I don't remember if it's Sister Sherry place in the chat. There are people in the in the chat who, uh, God, I know they need prayer for one thing or another. Glory to God. I saw Sister Sherry was saying something. Another, but I don't know if it's her was saying something about 
wanting a job or a place to live or something. I, I, I can't recall clearly now, but I am sure that somebody placed in the chat, made a prayer request, please pray for me. There's a sister, Sister Tash, who I went to pray for yesterday, and I know she has a desperate need to get a place to live. And I think she said she wants to get that place by Friday. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So if she open up her faith, praise God, and her trust in God and decide and have her money, because faith and works go together, have her money to pay her in, God will come true for her. Glory to God. God Evangelist, so I, I want to ask you a question. Because many people pray, many of us who call ourselves Christians and say we are in a relationship with God, many of us, we tend, many of us, to pray amiss. You know, and we, 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 we I, I think there ought to be a, a strategy. You know, do you apply a strategy when you pray? Praise God, the word of God. I, I try to adhere to the word of God, the principles of God. If I desire something from God, I follow the concept that says, if I confess my sins, God is faithful and just to forgive me and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Praise God. You know, and that is um, first, um, first John 1 verse 9. Glory to God. And there's Mark 11 verse 24 also tells me if I desire something from the Lord, I should ask him and I should believe. When I had the cancer, praise God, in my breast, praise God, I held on to that scripture in Exodus 15, I think it's verse 26, that says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And I hold God to his word because his promises are true. And if I am a child of God and I am living clean enough, praise God, it must be. That is, if this is not God's will for me to be ill, he must as an, have another plan. Praise God. But I believe him because if you said, if you ask in faith, believe him, he tells me to knock, you know. He says, seek and you shall find. He said, knock and it shall be open, uh, right? And he said, ask and you shall receive. So these are the word of God. So I, I apply the word, right, to my life and mm. to my power. Right, and I trust God, and I said, Lord, you say so. You tell me to believe this, so that so that I don't have no extra strategy like that. More than just a faith in God's word. Praise God, and and sometimes it's not everything I pray for I get, I get same time, but I still have the, that that faith. You know, look, and I and I look at examples in the word. I look at Abraham and Sarah. Praise God. Look how old they were. And, and 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 God, when when God tell um Abraham that look here, carry a son up to Mount Moriah, one son, you know, and God tell him already said look here, he's going to be blessed. God gave him the stipulations in um Genesis twelve, what he's gonna what he requires and what he's gonna give to him. So I believe in Abraham's mind. I put myself in Abraham's position. I take my one son now and carry him up to this mountain as obedient to better than sacrifice, as in obedience to God. I believe Abraham thought more or less, and look here, God is going to kill him, but raise him back. But something God, Abraham, so I have that faith that God is going to see me through, right? I'm in situations, I have a son who is not, who's mentally challenged sometimes, and I watch God work on him. I watch God, and my son of faith, he said to me, he was going for his visa, and he said, mommy, um, I said, I need to take you to the embassy. And he said, mommy, give me a chance to go alone. I said, really? My son drives. And when he got up three o'clock in the morning, I said, mommy, I'm ready. I said, look at him in them clothes. I said, no, it's too early. I have a seven o'clock appointment. And I said, too early. And I said, go lay down. Since you have any clothes already, sit in the settee then and put your head back and get some rest. Right? And when I jump up again, five o'clock, I don't see my son. I don't see the car. And when I call him, I say, where are you? Mommy, I'm at the embassy. I say, you get parking space and all that. Him say, yes. Him say, mommy, don't worry yourself. And I said, my God. And I prayed, you know. And I watched God. I never stopped praying from that moment until when I got the call, say, him get the visa. Yes, sir. You know. And I saw God. That is a God. But I, 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 I believe in this God, you know, man. Bad, you know. Bad, 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 bad. Good, 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 good. Him real, real, real and faithful. 
Yeah. My same son now, he, he got a job. And it's four weeks now and he's, at, he's going to that work every day. And I said, God. Mentally God. challenged sometimes. Yes. The Lord, I, the Lord said to me, say, I will live. And I write it down. I went to America one time and I wrote down this, what the Lord speak to me while I was praying. He said, I will live to see the manifestation of my son's deliverance. And I write it down. Right? And I'm watching him working through that boy. Praise God. Diagnosed with schizophrenia. When he diagnosed with that, the doctor tell me, say, there's no cure for that one. And I am believing God. God. Right? So when we pray, we hold on to the word of God. When, when I believe the schizophrenia thing, doctor, the, the Lord said, all your diseases, all, all. He never put some aside and put some hmm. over the earth. I said, this one big and this one little. All of them. Glory to God. You know, so I'm saying, I, I, I am an hypertensive person. Yes. And in the past two years, I don't take no pill. I don't even feel the prescription. Doctor called in my husband and said, Doctor, um, sir, you, you're going to lose this woman because she don't take her medication. When my time comes to die, is my time. But me no, my sister taking the medication and it making her very sick. So I choose not to. It's your choice, it's your fate, it's mm -hmm. your belief system. Praise God. And I when I was out there as a rasta, I used to have faith. I was the one who had the misconception. I thought it was Selassie who was empowering me. It wasn't yes. Selassie. It was Jesus. I did not know it was misappropriation. Praise God. But it was Jesus who knew me before the foundations of the world. So when we pray, we need to go down in faith believing. That sister Tash, she said she wanted the house by Friday. It's according to your faith, be it unto you, said the mm -hmm. Lord. Praise God. So we need to hold on to our faith. Praise God. And the will of God. Sometimes it's not the will of God for you to get something. You humble your spirit and say, Lord, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Right? And you still pursue. Because sometimes we pray for something and God don't really want us to get it either. Oh, yes. He knows what's best. So when we pray, we must always say, Lord, at thy will. Yes. At thy will. Because it must be his will. It must come true. No. And, 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 no. and I believe, even before you pray, woman of God, I believe that if we apply that principle to say, Lord, if it is your will, you know, if if you will it to be so, God, then a lot of us won't come out of prayer. When we don't get what we get, we pray for, we don't get disappointed. Because my right. thing is, every disappointment is an appointment for us to see yes. God. So if we yes. pray and say, God, if it is your will, then we don't become disappointed when we don't see the answers come because we will be of the understanding that the answers God gives yes, no, or wait. You know, True. but over to you, woman of God. Pray, uh, God, for us on this platform today. There are many who are in need of prayer, whether for ailment or illness or, you know, financial breakthrough, emotional breakthrough, you know, for comfort, for whatever it is that the Holy Ghost bid you to pray for, go right on ahead and pray Ooh, while we God. believe in Jesus' name. Praise God. For you I am praying. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. We praise you, Lord. We adore you. We worship you. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, for your cleansing power this morning, Jesus. Lord, wash us, purge us, Lord. Purify our spirits, oh God. As we come before you, Lord God, not to exalt ourselves, but to humble at the cross, at the cross. Oh God, hide us behind the cross this moment as we pray, God. Lord, as we make petitions, know that to you God you promise to hear us when we pray oh God almighty we come to you with varying needs Lord Jesus oh God we come to you with Minister Campbell oh God almighty Walker oh God you know what she's grieving over Lord God almighty when Lazarus oh God was sick and then he died the scripture said Jesus wept oh glory to God that's significant Lord Jesus you can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities 
Oh God, somebody out there, Lord God, is grieving and crying and hurting. Somebody lost a loved one. Somebody, husband or wife, has gone away and leave them, Jesus. Somebody, children, oh God Almighty. Oh God, somebody tell me last night I can't find my daughter. Oh, glory to God. Lord Jesus Christ, you know, Lord God Almighty, how oh, to touch the people who are hurting, oh God. Lord God, that sister who need a place to live. Oh God, many persons out there need a place. Some need money, Lord God, financial restitution, oh God. Oh God, financial resurrection. Oh God Almighty, Ecclesiastes 10 verse 19 said, money answer it all things, oh God. Father God, send money, Jesus. Oh God, give us money manage management skills, God. Lord God Almighty, there are persons, oh God, who need to know how to invest. Teach us how to manage money, Lord Jesus. Oh God, provide for us, God. Lord, emotionally, so many are hurting. So many are being sick right now, Jesus. There are big needs and there are little needs, but there are needs, oh God, everywhere. Lord, we bring our needs to the altar right now, God. In the name of Jesus, you can supply them. Lord God, you know who to deliver, Lord Jesus. You know who to heal now, and you know who to tell to wait, oh God. Lord God, persons are out here with cancer, oh God Almighty, different forms, Lord Jesus, but you are our deliverer. Oh God Almighty, walk through the audience right now, Jesus, and touch somebody, Lord God Almighty, who is fearful, somebody, Lord God, who is annoyed, oh God Almighty, somebody who is perplexed, despondent, cast down, Lord Jesus, oh God, somebody with a decision to make, but God Almighty, you are able to make that decision for them. Oh, God Almighty, Jesus, you will never force yourself upon us, God, but you will give us what it takes, God. The guidance that is necessary right now, Jesus. Somebody needs a touch from you. Yes, Economical crises and pressures are upon the land. Oh, God Almighty, so many things are happening. Accidents, incidents are occurring, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, somebody lost a love one Jesus. Somebody in the hospital right now need a touch from you. Somebody in the school room, somebody want to learn, but they said their brains are tough. God Almighty, you can fix it. You can fix it, God. You are the mechanics for everything. You have the tools, Lord Jesus. You have the weapon. Somebody who's under demonic oppression right now, God. Demons are speaking into them, Lord Jesus. Somebody who's schizophrenic right now, Jesus, here voices. Somebody who is bipolar. Somebody with fetishism. Jesus. Somebody who is an homosexual. Oh God, I need deliverance. Father God, in the name of Jesus, there are so many needs. Children with autism. Oh God. So many needs that exist among us. God. Somebody who is living contrary to the principles of God. Somebody who needs to walk straight. Somebody who needs to repent and turn. Somebody who need to find Jesus as their all in all. Oh God Almighty, reach out and touch us today Jesus. Oh God Almighty, somebody who's looking back as a child of God. Lord God not remembering that wife and you said remember that wife Jesus. So God Almighty come down now in the midst Lord and do a work among us Jesus. Somebody who is hiding like Jonah. Oh God and you have provided a well to pick him up Jesus. Somebody who need to go to Nineveh to do the work. Lord God Almighty, somebody who is shy. Somebody, Lord Jesus, who is saying, not me, Lord. Somebody who is saying, not yet, God. Oh God, your coming can be any moment and above all else, Lord. We must be saved, Jesus. Oh God, provide for us, God. Provide for us, Jesus. Not only daily bread, because that's a must, God. Lord Jesus, not only the clothes upon our backs, but the deep sea needs that we have. Many of us are lonely, Lord Jesus. Oh God, you saw that the man was lonely and you took, put him to sleep. You did a surgery, God Almighty, and you make a woman and you put beside him. Some women are lonely, they need a spouse. They need a husband. Some men are lonely, they need a wife, God Almighty. Jesus, some people can't manage 
Lord God Almighty, whatever our needs are, you promise to meet them according to your riches in glory. So God, yes, we look God. at thee, you are the instruments coming to our help. Our help coming from the Lord Jesus. Somebody need to start a business. Oh God Almighty, I don't know what to do, but Jesus. Oh God Almighty, somebody who need to go into real estate. Oh God Almighty, lead such a one, dear God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have mercy upon us all over, dear God. Lord, remember the Asians, remember the Africans, the Europeans, oh God Almighty, whatever category we fall in, remember us right now, Jesus. Father God of Nazareth, have mercy. Minister yes, Lord, have mercy. for her, Jesus. Thank you for what she's doing, Lord God Almighty. Oh God, she's exalting the name of Jesus. Oh God, we are here to exalt the name of Jesus. Oh God, to big up Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for the help. We thank you for the health and strength that you have afforded even me, oh God. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you, Thank you for the brethren, oh God, who supports even me. Thank you for each and every one everywhere, oh God. Thank you for those in the United States of America, those in Canada, Lord God, the Caribbean, right across the globe, Lord Jesus. Remember your children. Remember us today, God. Oh God, you promised to supply our needs according to your riches. So we are depending on you. We are depending on you. Our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. We dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you today for hearing our cry. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for fixing our problems. Thank you for intervening, oh God. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for salvation. Above all else, save somebody today, Jesus. Let somebody repent. Let somebody turn yes, from God. your sins. Let somebody say, here is water. I need to be baptized in the mighty name of Jesus. Fill somebody with the marvelous gift of the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues. Oh God, like me, who used to say it was gibberish. Oh God Almighty, what is the voice of the inner man speaking out? Oh God, the voice of God. Hallelujah. Father, we look to thee right now. Have thine own way. Bless us, Almighty God. Bless this program. Let it flow, God. Let it continue to flow. Bless, bless, bless. In the yes, mighty God. name of Jesus, we say thanks. Thank you again, God, for everything in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Type a thank you, Jesus, in the chat. Type a thank you, Jesus, in the chat. Type you, Jesus, in the chat. Even as you're up inside here, somebody, glory. Glory to God. Type of thank you, Jesus. I see your sister Louise. Glory to God. Sister Diana. Glory to God of Daniel. Thank you, Jesus. Type of thank you, Jesus, in the chat. We are thanking him in advance for the many things that he continues to do for us. Even when you can't see him, he's working. Even when you can't feel him, he's working. Sister Sasha Gay went. Glory to God. We just want to big up God. He answers prayer. God is the answer. And he answers prayer. Here and today, I want to say thanks Ooh. to Evangelist Carol Tucker White for sharing her testimony of inside here today. Mighty God, somebody thank for thank you, Jesus, in the chat. Nowhere to go if you feel it like an outcast has your problems overflow. Just remember. It's summer. Oh, Sister Marcy, I'm part of the photo. I see you Thank you, Jesus. Sister Barbara, thank you, Jesus. And God answers prayer. Yes, sir, Sister Debbie and Johnson. Seize every weakness. Every trial. Every mountain and sea. And it sees. You may be broken and feel bad like you have no Oh, 
certain is that my God answers prayer. Hear this people of God. He might not give us all that we want, but he promised to supply all our needs. Glory to God. So a lot of us going to God for some things where we can't do without. God knows that we, it, we it, those are things we can do without. Glory to God. So he, he didn't, listen, he doesn't have to give us all that we want, but he promised to supply all our needs. So you can't God, hold him accountable. Take it to the bank and cash it. That my God shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. Hold him accountable to that. See? So when you pray, glory to God. If you know that is a need you have and it's not a want. When you're going to God, you say, God, your word says, according to, glory to God, according to the book of Philippians, your word tells me. And my God, and God, because you are my God, me now got up your man, me now be a number about pan. God, you are my God, and I am holding you accountable to your words. Your words say, and my God, the God that I didn't serve, is more than able, more than capable to supply all, not so, all of my needs. I think me, meaning that the thing is dire. You need it, you need it. It's, it, 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 it's something that you can't do without. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory, Sister Beverly, who said. Glory to God. People of God, we just want to big up God that he answers prayer. We want to thank him, glory to God, that there is power in prayer. If you're not praying, you're not going to know if there's actual power in prayer. You have to try something and then you will see if it works. So if you're in a prayer, glory to God, start praying. If you weren't praying, glory to God, then start praying. Mighty God. And if you are praying, continue to pray. Glory to God. And if you are praying, pray some more. Lord, in the name of Jesus. So we just want to big up God and want to say thanks to Evangelist Carol Tucker White for stopping by here and for sharing her testimony in an able way. For Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are saying peace out until tomorrow, people of God, when we meet back up inside here for worship Wednesday. I don't even know what tomorrow holds. Glory to God. We don't know what we'll be doing tomorrow. But we are saying peace out until we see each other again up inside here tomorrow. All right to God for worship Wednesday in Jesus mighty name. More love, more grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father. Blessings beyond your expectation. Be a portion in Jesus name. Pray on because you are who the Lord is looking for.